Alright, this is Mr. Gatekeeper here. Got a buddy of mine, a local out here named Rascal. He wants a uh, power wire upgrade for his uh, 667 here. As you can see, we got two, uh, appears to be 10 gauge wires from the factory. Some could say they're eight. Uh, 10 or 8, I say they're more closer to 10 gauge. 2 10 gauge right here. Alright, we just want to do a first initial power output test just to see if maybe anything's gaining from them. Okay, so here's how the settings are going to be with the first test and the test after that. Green button in, variable all the way up. God, yeah. That's just what we're going to use for reference. So I won't cut this power supply off over here. I'm using it on right now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, 617 watts. 617. So when I get back, we'll do it again with a power wire upgrade just to see if there's any difference. I'm uh, kind of curious to see myself. Maybe there will be, maybe there won't. We'll see. Yeah, keep her set it. We go. Be back. Here we go. All righty, about 760. We got a little increase. All righty, that's about the most we're going to be able to get out of it. So we did get a little increase. I'm seeing about 750 to 770. All righty, everything's still the same. We're on 13.9. <clears throat> not a huge increase, not no dB increase on the other end, but it looks like it did gain about... If I remember correctly, maybe about 80 to 100 watts. We had terrible short-term memory. There's the out. There's the uh, upgrade here. Uh, me and my apprentice, Mr. 409, worked on this one together. Got two different ways I usually do these uh, power upgrades on the 667s, uh, 400s, and 500s. This is one way. Well, I got three ways I switch back and forth from. Just whatever I'm feeling that day, I guess. This is one way, which does make it a little easier on me. The other way, if the person wants to keep their fuse holders, I'll just go in with two solid eight uh, eight gauges, and then split it off into two eight gauges. Um, and uh, I've also I've been known to uh, plug the holes, plug two holes. And go in with eights, and, uh, go, go in on single eights, and split off into two eights. But uh, I'm about to show y'all why a lot of people like to do this upgrade. But um, very impressive, man. I'm, I'm happy to see any kind of power increase. I didn't care if it was going to be 30, 40 watts, you know. But um, you know, if it makes somebody feel happier, it's all good. I don't really see it to be too, 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 too bad overkill. But overkill is always good too. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get this unplugged. Um, give me one moment. Here's an old banged up 667 here. You might have to get too soon. I'll show y'all why a lot of people like doing these power upgrades. Okay. Alright, the driver section is powered by this section over here. Okay. Um, excuse me, I didn't mean that section over The driver section and this two pill section are, are powered together. Okay, we got a real thin 10 gauge that comes over here and powers this section. All right, now look at this section. Come on out, focus in. Well, I think the thing that you're objecting to is that she can't 
All right, you see this right here? This right here is a diode. The, the actual lead of this diode comes up to here, okay? This lead of this diode goes to here, goes through the diode, and powers this section. So this section is powered. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, bub. He came over here and gave me some cat picking zebra cakes, man. You can't beat that, can you? Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> so this one pill, this, this two pill section right here is powered by a lead this thin. Yeah, it's a real short lead. And I do agree. And for all I know, it could, you know, it could be all adequate and all good to go. And I, I do believe it is. But at the same time, a lot of people feel better. And as you see, there was a not noticeable wattage increase. People would rather have at least, at the bare minimum, another one of these going over here. At the bare minimum. But usually what I do on the power upgrades is just send an 8 in over here. 8 in over here. If you get you a 2 banger or, or you know, 2 banger from X Force or Fat Blood, what are they going to be using? 8 gauge wire. Now, I'm not knocking that Texas Star at all. These are my favorite linear amplifiers, AB bias linear amplifier there's a big uh controversy over that as well if it's a true a b well let me put it to you this way it's not a c that the way they a b these are very very unique they're not going off the controversial uh diode clipping diode like palomar like i do like others do messenger they're doing it a little different way. It, it, it kind of would remind you of, an, of, of a B bias in a sense, but on the scope, it appears to be an AB. If somebody can ever uh, show me differently, I'll accept it. But in my mind, it's an AB amplifier. It's linear. And this very good craftsmanship. Well, there you go. It's Mr., uh, like I said again, Mr. Rascals. Out of our big Rockdale County, big mall dropping rascal. Let me keep that your amps clean, too, buddy. That thing is clean as a bell, There's buddy. There, buddy. Go ahead and tell you that, man. Keep, okay, right keep treating it the way you're treating it because it's good and clean, unlike this piece of uh, something right here. <laughs> We're going to have to put a front bezel. Um, buttons are good. We're going to have to put a front, new front bezel on this thing here. New front on it. Maybe a new top. Do a little power upgrade to it. I'm gonna put that back right over there. It's one of my personals, which means I get to that last. And everybody else gets to first. All right, y'all have a good one, Mr. Gatekeeper. Set it, I'm gone.